everyone, it's Rachel. In this tutorial, I want to teach you how to create snow white hair using the color therapy app. To make your white hair look more realistic, you'll want to use different shades of warm colors for your highlights and shadows. Make sure to choose a background color that will help make it stand out. If you'd like to follow along, find this image under short hair. So I like to do hair very last, so make sure that your background is complete as well as your subject. So I've already gone ahead and shaded and colored my subject the way that I wanted to. So we'll start off by using the shades of gray palette and set it to gradient. And I'm using the fourth color from the right on the top row. And I'm using the radial gradient. So it's lighter in the middle and I'm just tapping to fill in all of the hair. It's very subtle, but this will help to give it some dimension. Now set the shades of gray palette to solid and choose the first color and then go over to the flat brush tool. Set the size at 70 and opacity at 100. So turn coloring inside the lines mode two off and just draw in really nice thick chunks of hair and this is gonna just make those edges look a little bit more realistic instead of the template. And I'm bringing it into the bangs as well. Now let's go over to the hairbrush tool. Set the size at 100 and opacity at 40. Now at this point, it might be helpful to just lower your stroke opacity so you can kind of see better what you're doing. And I'll be using white and I'm just gonna start to add in some nice little bits of hair coming down. So I'm focusing on the bangs right now and I'm just pulling the hair straight down and then I'm gonna curve with the hair elsewhere, going with the movement. You can also turn coloring inside the lines mode to on in some of the areas where it's helpful to keep that movement that the template already offers. Now let's go over to the airbrush tool, set the size at one and opacity at 100. And let's turn coloring inside the lines mode to off. And then with all of the edges, I wanna make them nice and soft. So I'm just adding in some little strokes. So we have a few like thicker chunks of hair, a few thinner ones. We just like lots of variation with this. And make sure to apply that to the bangs as well. And make sure those edges are just blending up into the hair. Over in the warm palette, select the first color on the last row. Then we're gonna use a thin fur brush tool now. We'll do size 40 and opacity at 60. So I'll turn coloring inside the lines mode two on, and I'm just gonna be adding that into some of those chunks of hair in the middle. And then switch back to the airbrush tool and using the same color from the warm palette, I am just gonna add in a few strokes here and there. And I'm using the template where it already has some shadow where it suggests it and just kind of adding it in there. Just so we have a little diversity with the color in the hair. Now go back to the hair tool. We'll do size 45 and opacity at eight. And I'm using the fourth color on the top row in the warm palette. And this is just to add some low lights into the hair. So you don't have to add it everywhere, but just the areas where you want to add a little bit of shadow. So such as behind the ears, by the neck, under hair that's like folding underneath, etc. And then with the smear tool, let's set the size at one and intensity at 100. So now we just want to blend the hair. So all those little chunky areas that need some blending, just use your finger and softly blend, going with the motion of the hair. And I still have coloring inside the lines mode set to on. And then we can go back in and add a few more little strands of hair with the airbrush tool size one and opacity at 100. I'm just using white now, adding back in a few little bits of hair. So just more and more layers. And then finally, let's add in our smallest little detail hairs with the pen tool, so size one. And I'm gonna do opacity at 80. So you might wanna turn coloring inside the lines mode off for this and you can just add in your little bits of hair strands. Some of them can even go over the face. You can also use this tutorial to create other hair colors. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.